Hey guys, welcome back to another week's episode of the Budget 4x4 Live. Today I'm going to show you how to install the Maston Sunline subwoofer and we're going to test it out to see if it's got enough bass or whether you should go for a bigger system. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so first up, it is 37.5 centimeters in length and it's 7.5 centimeters in width, which makes it the perfect size for my car. As you can see, it's a short wheel base for Gero, so there's not a lot of space. Um, so this one is the perfect size to go under the seat. Quality wise, it's very durable. Um, it's definitely a solid build. And um, you can get it for $230 on Kogan or online. I'll pop the link in the description so you guys can have a look. And it comes with a two year warranty as well, which is pretty good. And I went especially for this one because it's got a power rating of 720 peak power watt wattage. Um, so that's basically the strongest slimline stuff that I could find online. And so yeah, let's get into the installation and see what you sounds like. Alrighty, so what you get in the box is obviously the subwoofer. Then you have an adjustable base um, button over there, so you can just turn the knob um, to increase or decrease the base. And then just your basic wires that goes in there, that's for the battery. That's the remote wire, the blue one, to turn this up on and off. And then just your um, ground cable that I just mounted to the seat over there. And the only thing extra that you need to buy are these RCA cables. That will make um, the sound go through to the sub. But yeah, that's what included in the box. Okay, so probably one of the first things you wanna do is to run your battery wire through to your car. And so it comes with a fuse as well, as you can see, which is pretty good in case something goes wrong. Um, but yeah, that's the first thing you want to do. Alrighty, so once your battery wire is connected, you can connect your remote wire as well. But obviously you need to take these ones and the RCA cables to your head unit. So now we will get into that one. Once you um, wired your RCA cables through to the head unit, what you need to do is plug it in wherever it says subwoofer. Um, so as you can see, red goes on the red and the black goes on the black or the blue on the black. Um, just means positive and negative. Um, so just have a look on your head unit wherever it says subwoofer. Just stick it in there. And then also the remote wire, just get a set of pliers and a connector. And then you just connect the two cables together and then that should be all good so now it will have power to go on and off and the sand will also run through to it so yeah we're nearly done righty guys so once everything is connected if you just want to run a quick test all you do is you plug in your wires to your subwoofer All like that, and then you just turn your car on, see if the radio comes on, yep that works all good, and then there should be a light, hmm, okie dokie, so I finally found the issue, I was really starting to stress, I was like, oh no, did I fry some wires or something, but anyway, here's the problem, so please make sure to connect all your wires for it to work, um, so yeah, pop that one in there, and the other one in there as well, and then let's test it out, alright, so that's on, yes we got the green button so as you can see there we go hopefully you can see it but yeah it's working
before I install it into the car, this is what I'm going to put it on. So hopefully it focuses. So as you guys can see, I'm going to put the gain right up and I'm going to put the frequency on 50 and the phase on 180 degrees just so the sound travels through the whole car nicely. And so yeah, let's hook everything up and see how she goes. So basically what you want to do is you want to take some double sided tape for the base controller so once you stick it on there you can put it on any of the plastics underneath just so it's easily accessible um, and easy to reach. Alrighty guys, so here's the moment you've been waiting for. Um, I'm gonna play a song and let's see what the bass feels like. Let's go. Wow, honestly, this thing surprised me. I did not expect that coming from such a small subwoofer. It's definitely worth it. Oh my goodness, that's insane. Like, sorry, I had to play weird music because um, I don't want to be copyrighted on YouTube. Um, but yeah, guys, honestly, it's such a good speaker. I think it helps with the car being very small. Um, so the sound doesn't need to travel very far, but well, if you ever wonder if a slimline subwoofer is worth it, I definitely rate it, especially for small cars. Oh well. Honestly, I've had big subs in the past, like 12 inch subs with 2000 watts amps and it, it, it blew hard, but this thing, for the money, for the size, it's freaking good. Well there you go guys, thank you so much for joining in today, I hope this was a helpful video if you consider a slimline subwoofer, I definitely rate it, get one, especially if you have a small car, if you have a bigger car make sure to get a better system because I think um, the sound is not going to travel as good as it would in a small car, hopefully the sound was alright, it's obviously not going to sound the same as in real life, um, but honestly it's very good, I've turned up the gain to 100% and um, so it, all the bass goes through the subwoofer and on my head unit I put it on extreme bass 1 and full bass on the settings as well as you can see over here um, so yeah guys and that's perfect that's, that's the right amount of bass obviously um, otherwise it's going to be too much so yeah guys stick around subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions make sure to pop them into the description or the comment section and I'll catch you guys next time. Have a good one.